My name is Tirlok Malik. I'm a happy life yoga speaker, New York Emmy nominated filmmaker, and Ayurveda Cafe restaurant. I want to say all of you, Namaste. Namaste is the Indian greeting, which means I bow myself to divine in you. Divine in you, with everybody. And plus, in Corona time, this greeting works much better. I want to talk about first happy life yoga. The yoga of life. How we can stay happy in a times like this, or even all the time. How should we stay happy? What do we teach ourselves? What do we learn? Things are hard. The year 2020 has been a very, very challenging. Has it been challenging for all of you? No. Yes? yes. Uh, no. Okay, I like that. So this year has been a full of challenges. And there were times I felt I can't take it anymore. There were, you know, there was such a challenging time. And I said, I can't take it anymore. But then I said to myself, I am here. In order for me to feel happy, in order for me to feel what is going on, I must feel gratitude, grateful to the world, what I have. You know, there's lot. And that is why I should be grateful to the world that I am here. Like all of you are here. You know, life. The Indian philosophy says we cannot live a happy life in the terms of yoga life, yo happy yoga life, if we can keep a balance in our external world and the internal world. What I like to say is, I like to invite everybody here to the beauty of life and life challenges. We must all laugh together. At the same time, be grateful. So I invite everybody to laugh with me. <laughs> you know, while we're laughing, I also want to invite everybody here, giving a hug to yourself. Margie, giving a hug to yourself. All of you should tell yourself, I love myself. I love myself. Because when we love ourselves, we take care of ourselves. We live life in balance. What does that mean is, we must take care of internal and external world. I love you all. So please remember that if you're loving to yourself, you will take care of yourself. I like to now number two. Now I would like to talk about Ayurveda and health. I have a restaurant, Ayurveda Cafe, on 94th Street on Amsterdam Avenue. What Ayurveda says about health, that Ayurveda is about prevention. You must prevent yourself rather than cure. What is prevention mean is taking care of your health, just like we take care of a car. If we take care of the car, it will give us a maximum performance. Same way to our body. If we eat vegan food, like we just had it before vegan pizza and all other things. So we stay in balance. So Ayurveda says have vegetarian food, stay healthy, do some meditation and stay in balance. That's what Ayurveda says. Third thing. Third thing I would like to talk about is Ayurveda and being vegan. What is vegan means according to Ayurveda. See, Ayurveda does allow to drink milk, but that was allowed in the Ayurveda 5,000 years ago when we had a different kind of a healthy milk. What I like to say about Ayurveda and being vegan is, Ayurveda says, accept everything, reject nothing, choose what is good for you. So in today's time, yes, being vegan is healthier 
is much better. There's a two aspect to being vegan. One is the health, other one is our morality. That each one has to decide and pay for it, you know, and decide how to have a vegan life. Because I personally believe being vegan is healthier vegan. It is good to be vegan. Thank you. One more thing I like to say, Deva Chothai. Nagi, Pamela, I have a message for all of you from this World Vegan Vision Organization, worldvegan.org. It's an Indian association which promotes veganism, founded by Mr. H.K. Shah, they have directors Nitin Vyas and Avinash Petty. They could not be here, but they send you best wishes, invite everybody to stay healthy and everything. Thank you very much. I'm glad to be here. And one more time, we laugh. Ha, ha, ha.